what happened? Or you just move on and say, it's not over. Well, I think I think you do uh, a little bit of both, you know, because the fact that in sports, and I've been doing it for 40 years, and it was the first time in my 40-year history that something like that had happened. That you know, it just shows you that how possibilities you know can emerge. So you, you want to diagnose a little bit to try and head off but more than anything else you got to move on i mean you know we've played 50 games and we've been playing for a long time the semester's almost over and you look back and you know here we are talking about one day and so yeah, i mean we just happened to play two games in one day and we didn't we didn't play well and, i mean there's no ands ifs or buts about it you know we set a record for walks and it was the worst day defensively and you couple those two together you know, winning is very difficult, and put that in there, it's near impossible. So, you know, those are the things that we talk about. I mean, the the recipe for success is still the same. You know, we've got to have good pitching in the circle, we've got to play good defense, we've got to have timely hitting. So if we can get those, you know, nothing changes. And we're not panicking, we're not making wholesale changes or anything else. Uh, we're just working harder and trying to make sure that, uh, you know, we can handle the ball and we go up there and uh, can score runners in scoring position. You feel like... I mean, as far as getting a getting the top eight seed this weekend, obviously, is crucial, is it not? Oh, it is. I mean, again, you know, we, we would really like to be able to play here for both the regionals and super regionals. And in my opinion, we're still one of the top eight teams in the country. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, again, it's I don't have anything to do with the rankings. Uh, you know, our job is to go out there and take care of business. Uh, we've got the SEC tournament coming up, and then we got postseason. And we know we're going to we're going to be in regionals, and it'll more than likely be here. So, you know, regardless if we do have to travel for a super, it's so be it. I mean, you still have to play the people. You still have to beat the people in order to get the College World Series. So, it, it's about taking care of business and. Yeah, that's been what we're trying to do uh, since we got back from Tennessee is get ourselves ready to play the, the next game, which is the most important game of the season, which will be Friday night against T Texas A&M. On that note, is there was there a refocus, I guess, this week in knowing that time is running out in the season and this happened late in the season and they have to do some work this weekend if that is to happen? Well, uh, again, I, I don't think I used quite your words about <laughs> that, but, I mean, you know, time... Yeah, the time is always relevant to, to you know, where you are where you are at that point in the season. Uh, but you know, everybody has a bump in the road. And we had our one bump, and we you know, hopefully we're going to be able to respond to the challenge that lies ahead of us. You know, I mean, the, if history has taught us anything, you look back at your past successes, and we've got plenty to look back upon. So you know, I think this still is a great team, and uh, you know we just need to go out and take care of the things that we have control over and you know our character and our performance and our ability to field catch and throw is something that we do control.